I think everything in life happens for a reason. If you find yourself feeling alone, this is actually one of the best things that happened to me. And I wish I could tell this to my younger self. When I was in school, I was trying to fit in so bad. I didn't fit in any group. I was so scared to be alone. So I forced myself to kind of be interested in the things that everyone else was interested in but it didn't give me any joy. I thought I would get fulfillment by being accepted by other people. And this issue just continued when I went to graphic design school. I was the youngest there. A lot of people would pick on me for being the youngest. What I noticed afterwards is instead of working towards my dreams, I was actually just working on finding a friend group or finding a partner in order to enjoy life because that's what social media keeps telling us. Everyone is posting with their partner and their friends and we just keep on seeing that every day. And it just makes you question so much because you think, okay, I can only have fun with others because barely anyone embraces being alone on social media. That's why I think so many of us are feeling sad because we are either feeling completely alone or we feeling alone while surrounded by people that don't fit with us. I realized I was using friends or dating people because I wanted to be seen, I wanted to have someone to talk to all the time, and I was using that as to kind of like procrastinate and not work towards my dreams. So instead of actually doing the things that I always wanted to achieve and do in life, I would always just talk to people that had a completely different vision of life. Realizing that I am the summary of the five people that I surround myself most with, I realized, okay, I need to make a change. I need to cut people off. Sometimes it's really hard to realize that you've outgrown friends or friends have outgrown you, but it's important to make that cut and focusing on yourself and embracing that being alone because that way you're going to learn more about yourself about your intuition to do things or to not do things because i think everyone has experienced that when you felt like doing something but just to make sure you're asking your friend about some advice and it might say something that is a little bit different from what you were thinking and that can already have a huge impact on if you're going to do the thing or not and because their opinion matters to you and that's what happened to me with like so many people from my family that told me not to do certain things. And once I was able to silence what everyone else around me was telling me to do or not to do, that is when I started to be way happier because I was actually doing the things. I was traveling to places by myself that I always wanted to visit and my friends didn't want to visit. And I think it's so important to not wait on life because so many people, they wait to have the right money, to have the right friend group, to have the right partner, to do things. And I'm telling you, you can already do the things all by yourself and it's out of your comfort zone. But I like to see life as kind of like a train ride. Nothing is forever, everything is temporary. Every emotion, all of our relationships around us don't necessarily are forever. This is in all the good and the bad ways and it helps us appreciate certain moments better if we know they're not forever. And like I said, with the train ride, sometimes when you go to a big city with the train, a lot of people get off the train to go to that big city. And life can feel like that. Sometimes you have a lot of people with you that want to go somewhere. And then other times when you're driving through nowhere, there's no one around you. I mean, you might be the only person on the train and it can feel really lonely, but there will be another bigger city coming up and sometimes it's closer than we even think it is. So it's important to not give up because, and really fall in love with the process. And this can be so hard. And that's why I want to use this video to reassure yourself that just because you're alone doesn't mean that but this is not a good place to be. Our reality of life, of being alone, is so heavily influenced on how others portray being alone. Because being alone and being lonely is two different things and you can definitely be alone and not feel lonely. It's a process to learn. I'm on that journey, but I realized with starting my YouTube, talking about the things that I'm passionate about and finding other people that are passionate about the same things and me being able to add value to other people's life instead of 
chasing people that never wanted to be surrounded by me. This is so crazy. And I did this for so long and I was realizing recently that it's important to choose the right battle, choose the right struggle because we are always going to struggle. You might struggle financially and you think, okay, if I have all the money, I don't have the problems anymore. But then once you have all that money, you will have different kind of struggles. And it's really important to choose the right struggle. And instead of choosing the struggle to fight for acceptance by people that don't want you in their life, it's way better to choose the struggle to work out and feel your muscles being sore. This is also some kind of struggle because there's the outcome of that struggle is growth. If you go to the gym, it's gonna suck. If you're going to start learning a new language, it sucks, you're going to suck. You're going to forget the words, but through repetition and keep going, you're going to get better. And then you have that growth. Now you know a new language. Now you know how to program. Like being able to work on a new skill set that is going to benefit you in some kind of way and also exposing you to different kinds of people that might have the similar vision. I joined a running club and I realized those people that go there are the people that do things. And I always wanted to be surrounded by people that do things and not just talk about people and talk about doing things that they're never actually going to do. Because I was one of those people that also always dreamed about things, had a vision, but I never put in the action because I was too scared to fail. I was too scared to end up being alone. On that journey, you're going to be alone, you're going to fail, but it's about how you deal with those situations. Every situation sent our way is just 10% the situation and 90% of how we react to that situation. So it's really important to understand and change your mind the way that you think about things. Failure is not as bad as it's always being portrayed and how we think it is. I hope this helps you understand that if you're alone, this isn't necessarily something bad and the right people will come your way it just takes time and it's important to take that time too. I know so many people that are always in relationships, they're never really happy, but they're too scared to actually face themselves. But this is actually the way that you're going to end up understanding what you want out of life. And it's important, like I said, to choose the right battle, to do the things that you always wanted to have. You can only live your dream life if you are actually working towards that dream life and actually do the things and by me uploading these videos about the topics that i'm passionate about that i could never talk to my friends about because they didn't feel the same way about personal development as i did so i was always quiet and carrying that inside of me inside of my mind i like to have like innovative thoughts or help others if they struggle and by putting out these videos there's a small amount of people that I'm helping. I'm also helping myself. And this is all that matters, being kind, sharing certain kind of informations that help you. And that is what makes a fulfilling life for me, is like to help others because that just gives back so much more. And I think especially in a society where we think we always want more, we want more subscribers, more money, more friends, a bigger house, whatever it is. We always think of wanting to have more and if we're stuck in there, we're never going to be happy because in order to be happy, we need to be grateful for the things that we have and appreciate them. Like when we go on vacation, we feel really grateful for that and that's why we feel happy. But we can just feel as happy to be where we are in life, to see it like a journey. I hope this video helped you to reassure yourself that it is not as bad as you think to be alone and to embrace it. Let's be the generation and the people that make a difference. Just share it with friends. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.